Sometimes the most fascinating scientific findings happen by accident. Scientists were looking for something else and then they said, wait a minute, what is this? And something like this just happened when scientists were looking at Mount Etna in Sicily. And I mean, this guy, I've reported a lot about this one. So you should check out the videos in the end screen because that guy is going to cause a monster tsunami that we have never seen before because half of the mountain is crashing into the sea and it's already begun and it's slowly slowly sliding into the sea videos in the end screen but that's not what they discovered they discovered something else that could help us with the super volcano in naples in italy campi flegri at least i hope so they were looking at the seismic data of mount etna between 2004 and 2024 so the earthquakes right there's earthquakes at Mount Etna and we know that that is nothing that is completely unusual that volcanoes if magma is rising they produce earthquakes so we're looking for the signs land rise earthquakes stuff like that increased gas emissions in order to try to predict an eruption predicting eruptions is easier with volcanoes that erupt more often like in Hawaii or Etna or now in Iceland but it's not so easy with volcanoes that do not erupt that often and we don't know their behavior like Campi Flegre. So predicting volcanic eruptions, scientists got a step closer by looking at Mount Etna. And it was, of course, the INGV, the National Institute of Geophysics and Volcanology. They're the ones that are also observing Campi Flegre and Vesuvius. And they have analyzed the relationship between the number of low magnitude earthquakes and high magnitude earthquakes that are happening at Mount Etna. And they were able to develop a system that allows us to identify magma movements in the volcano. When the magma starts moving out of the volcano's magma chamber and it's rising up to produce an eruption. So that is crucial. So we always knew that analyzing earthquakes in a volcanic area can help to improve volcanic eruption forecasting. But in this new study about the earthquake frequency and magnitude distribution of Mount Etna as example, it sheds light on magma ascent in that volcano's plumbing system. But of course that can be transferred to other volcanoes where we have seismic data recorded. So researchers analyzed how the rising of magma from underground influences earthquake production based on the so-called B value. The B value is the crucial part here in this new study. That is basically a parameter that is representing the relationship between the low number of low magnitude earthquakes and the number of high magnitude earthquakes. It's a parameter from the Gutenberg-Richter law. A higher B value, for example, indicates a higher proportion of small earthquakes, while a lower B value suggests a higher proportion of larger ones. So this value is used in seismic hazard analysis and can be influenced by factors like, like stress, material properties, and depth. If, we, if it comes to fault zones, for example, scientists can understand the number of stress that has built in a fault zone. But we can also do this with a volcano. So in order to get the B value, they have looked at their recorded data from 2004 to 2024. And they have identified movements of magma from, deep, from the deep crust to the surface. And variations in this parameter, the B value, could constitute a very significant precursor to volcanic eruptions preceding gas emissions due to magma ascent by several months. Especially active volcanoes are monitored through geological observations and the recording of physical and chemical data, which provide information on how magma moves in the superficial part of the crust. So this allows us to predict magma eruptions to the surface just before they happen. 
not much warning time. But deep magma movements, deeper down, however, they are more difficult to understand and detect, but they could maybe give us a longer warning time. So in this study, they were aiming to analyze what happens in the deep crust, so as to know well in advance what might happen on the surface in a volcanic area. So the data that they were looking at, all these earthquake data, they were recorded from over 30 stations. So Etna is very, very thoroughly surveilled. So total almost 21,000 seismic events, earthquakes. Magnitudes were ranging from 0 0.1 to 4.8 and guys for a volcano 4.8 is like, okay, be aware. And all these earthquakes, they could pinpoint them down to three various crustal depths, so three different depths. So we need to know what are the crustal rocks doing? What stress is working on these crustal caprock layers, so to speak, that keep a lid on everything? And here comes the B value. Like I said, it gives us the amount of stress in a fault line or in a volcano, just on a layer of rock. So these values in the case of Etna allowed the scientists to reconstruct the ascent of magma from the Earth's crust. It's, and then it's accumulation at medium depth, basically in the magma chamber. And then it's subsequent ascent from the magma chamber to the surface. So you understand it's coming from a deeper magma reservoir in a more shallow magma chamber. And then from there, boof, we have a volcanic eruption or a magma intrusion like it first happened in Iceland in November 2023. That's also what you see in this graphic here. You see the earthquakes and the B value for this period that, that when this was measured. So the B values, very important. This was their finding in predicting volcanic eruptions. The study found that variations in the B value can also, variations in the B value can precede gas emissions that happen due to magma rising by up to several months. So this is possible because earthquakes immediately reveal magma movements deep down. But the degassing process, that takes a while for the gas to reach the surface. They must rise miles and miles. So monitoring the B value could, according to these researchers, complement the standard monitoring of variations in chemical and physical parameters. Because yeah, we see at Campi Flegri, the gas emissions are increasing, CO2 emissions are increasing, temperatures are increasing, but what's going on very deep down? That is the question. This B value though is, and we have to be aware of this, is very dependent on the accuracy of seismic monitoring. So in places like Campi Flegri and Mount Etna, I don't worry about that. It's really, really thoroughly surveilled. We need surveillance equipment that can detect even the weakest, smallest, tiny tremors. And if you are a viewer of my channel, you have heard that they're now using artificial intelligence, just very, very advanced algorithms that can find in the past seismic recordings, these variations that can even detect these small earthquakes. That way they found out that when we had the crisis in Santorini, that there were way, way more earthquakes in Campi Flegri, 50,000 earthquakes in the last seismic crisis in February and March. So this is a crucial part. So AI can localize and monitor way more earthquakes in a very short period of time. So with the B value, we can learn what the magma is doing. We can detect anomalies way faster. We can detect the magma dynamics, everything that's going on very deep down there so that we do not just have to react when everything's close to the surface already. So we could detect these anomalies in advance before the volcano is actually erupting. 
If you found that interesting, guys, hype this video, like it, subscribe, and hopefully click the end screen so that I can see you in the next one. And if you want to fill me up with coffee so that I can talk and can talk and talk, then go to buymeacoffee.com slash silky. It's in the description here. Thank you for your supers. Click the join button to become a member. New member videos very, very shortly. See you there. Click here. Don't forget.